welcome subscribers to my channel and uh, it's actually a beautiful day out there there's lots of uh, real clouds out there there's no fake clouds I don't see a chemtrail at all really nice I wind up making this channel because I saw a video of one of the things that I bought actually not too far back and it was saying that it was obsolete that was a long long time ago and I decided to uh, start showing most of the stuff that I bought from the 80s and that's why this channel is called 80s man for that reason just about everything I have I, I bought in the 80s <laughs> I still have some of them work some of them don't and that's what this channel is all about just kind of want to show the items gadgets and tools that I uh, possess still have and that's the whole nitty-gritty about this channel I will not video tape anything outdoors if I see any chemtrails out there I will I will not do that I don't want any chemtrails to be in my background of my videos so that's stuff because there are days that I want to do some recording and the sky looks horrible there's a lot of fake stuff up there but today look at this here comes a beautiful cloud rolling from the west it's kind of coming east northeast over the Catskill Mountains up there that you see it's just gorgeous and it's going to be hot today so let's stop with that and let's get back to today's video let's see I'm just going to show it. I'm going to have to stop because, of course, the battery here is, uh, is going red on me. Uh, hopefully, you can get to see that in the shadow. It's a portal cable and it's called a plate joiner kit. And uh, I'll stop the video. Let me put a new battery in and maybe I'll set this up just a little differently. All right, we got a different angle here. And, uh, might be tough to read because the shadow on this apple tree here uh, is in the way, but uh, support a cable, like I said, a plate joiner kit. It's got a nice little plastic box which I always try to find a tool. I always try, the first thing is, how's it come? Does it come with its own little box or not? That's important. That's how you keep things together. Uh, okay, let's see if we can see this here. comes with the uh, booklet and this is a uh, model 557 this is the unit itself we'll go through that in a minute it comes with the uh, little bag I never used. Uh, it also comes with a bigger blade because you can uh, 
get cut these uh, these biscuits. Uh, there's like four different sizes. What you need two different blades. I have the small blade in this already. This is the big one. The Allen wrench. And the sliding thing that goes in the front. The slide. All I have is here. Let me see. These are the four biscuits that were cut. And this blade here, this big one, will cut. If you notice the radius, will cut this big one, the biggest one. This is called a number 20. We'll do number 10, I believe. Yep, this is a 10. You see the radius. That one will cut that one. And we'll also do this one. Uh, it's called a zero. And that radius. You see that blade will cut this one too. And it depends how deep in you go. You go a little deep. Halfway like this. We'll do this one. You go in a little further, you can put this one in, and if you go even further than that, I'll show you the settings. And then, the blade that I have in the machine right now, it's a smaller blade. You see, you notice how the radius is different. So it does these FF, uh, yep, FF biscuits. But these are really nice, the little ones. That's the reason why I got it. You put the little biscuits in there. Anyway. It comes with a nice cord. Nice and flexible. And here is a model 557 plate joiner. So for those who want to see is a 7.5 amp it's a type 3 it's got a serial number there I might be reading that wrong 999 313 okay uh, sometimes when you move the camera you get to see I see 2008 I think I don't know, up on top, right, right up here, I'll bring the camera a little closer, maybe you'll see later, I think I see 2008, anyway, here it has the different settings for the biscuits that you want to use, right now it's set for FF, and you can move these around to put the big ones, the, the D's, the double, the O's. Here is the scale to bring this guy up. If you want to use this to plunge. This here. Is what brings this the thing up this top plate you can bring it up or down here you got some important markings of where the blade is at here's one here is this one there we go you got this one here and of course Important one too is the one at the bottom. Sometimes that guy comes in handy. We might use that later. Kind of go through this. Don't forget. Here it has a. Here's where you put the bag in. But this, this is uh, uh, so you can set. 
this top plate at 90 degrees. You can set it at 45 degrees. You can see it right there. Or any of these 10 to 90. You can do the 90 here too if you want. Well, here you can jump. You can go from 0 to 90, but here you can go from 90 to 135. You can see the angle on it. That's when you use the top plate. Um, I use both. I use the bottom. I'll show you in a minute. Put this back to zero. So by putting it down, my blade, when it comes out, it's almost in the middle. Usually what you're working on is three quarter. So my blade will, uh, I believe this is three quarter. Yeah, it is. So my blade, is probably going to cut right in the middle of that. So it's important that if you use the bottom, you got to use the other piece that you want to do from the bottom. You don't go from using the top and the bottom because you can go this way too. Anyway. Um, we get that in operation. So what, what did I use this for? Usually I bought this because I was doing picture frames and sometimes I cut this just to show you. Let me see. I got a couple pieces here. I got this one. Okay, I don't have it. Uh oh, I don't think I have. Uh, don't tell me I don't have a piece to show you. Uh, oh, maybe I do. Uh, this is trim, actually. You know, you won't be using this for picture frames, but just to give you an idea, here I have a picture frame, and there's many ways of joining that. Of course, one is dowels, the other one, they have these metal things you put in the back. You can also put a spine or spleen, I should say, in here. Which that shows but with this guy you can put a little a little biscuit in there and depending on what you're using you could what do, you do with these okay I think I left them in the box it is. Most likely, you'll probably be using, it depends how big your frame is, the wood, you can use these. But if I was to put this together, this guy will be, will probably, I'll probably get this to work. So I'll have to change the blade. But this guy will be perfect. Just by putting this little biscuit right in here, I'll be able to close this up. That's what we're gonna do right now. This is very easy to do. It's very forgiving. A dowel is not. That has to be perfect. Because <laughs> you don't have a problem getting it, getting it in there. I'll say, I'll do a little marking right here. 
We'll put that biscuit right there. Let me plug this in. top plate for this. I should have done that. Let's see. Now let's bring this guy down. Bring it down. We'll bring it down just a little bit more, like right there, uh, let's say, then what was that marking? Here's the marking, bring this in. a little marking right there put the little biscuit in here's the other one that's the one you go in here like this and there you go put glue and and it's forgiving you, you can move it a little bit see it's, uh, it's one nice thing about it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll come out really nice. And there you go. That's what I use these for. What's <clears throat> one way of uh, using this jointer? Um, Let's see, another one that comes in handy. Is when, uh, of course, I already showed that because you can, you can put these two boards together like that. You use a big biscuit like that to put them together. I kind of show this on a 45, the same thing. Anyway, another thing was if you want to put 
shell like this sometimes. Well, you want a biscuit in here, and that's really easy to do. Um, but before I do that, because I have the the top plate down, another time you will use that is if you had a cabinet, the side of the cabinet, and you want to put a different face on it like that. You can put the door here. Sometimes you want to just change the face. Put the face like that. But usually you don't put them flush like that. You leave a little bit so the cabinet, the next one will just hit here and not the side. If you kind of understand what I'm trying to say. You will put a face on a cabinet with a little bit of lip here. So when you put them together, it's going to hit here and not here because you might get a gap. So you leave a little bit of room, about an eighth of an inch, uh, like that. So when you put your cabinet together, it's, it's going to be hitting here, not here. Anyway, to do this, it's easy, you know how to do both of them like that. You mark it where you want it. And what you do is you do one, but when you do this one, when you do this one, you drop the top. That's when you use the top plate and you drop it the eighth of an inch. Then you do the cut out. So when you put it together, you wind up with the eight of an inch sticking out. Um, maybe we should do that one. Let's see. Okay, so we'll bring this to here. Here we go. Let's see if we can do that. Let me think about it here a little bit. This is the cabinet. And we want to do is put this guy like that with an eighth of an inch. So let's mark this guy here. Let's do a little bit of marking here. There you go. So, uh, let me do this one first, uh, go here, we'll go here, uh, we'll use the top plate, okay, we have that one, uh, now this guy, uh, let's keep that one here. Now this guy, where is it? Okay, this is the guy that goes like that. So here is where we drop down a little bit. So we'll drop it. That means we're gonna have to raise it just a little bit to drop the blade. Yeah, say a negative an inch there. Can we do this one? Let's see. Let's hold this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I guess. Right there. Okay. Let's see if it's true. Let's put this little guy here. Let's put this little guy here. And there you go. You see? And there you have just a little like eighth of an inch that you really want when you do cabinets. So uh, 
it is forgiven. You see how much you got? But this way is not. This way is very strong, but up and down, you, you go up and down. You have to be perfect. But here you have to go on this way. You put glue on there, and you do a bunch of these. I don't know how long your cabinet will be. You put four, maybe four or five. So that's one way to use the top guard that I like using a lot. That's the one I usually use. Okay, let's do a last scenario here before we uh, close up this video. Let's say if I wanted to uh, put the board like this at the end with a little biscuit for whatever reason. So what I will do is because it's a short piece, uh, I will use a guard. Let me bring this over here for a minute. Uh, that's when I will use the guard that goes in here. Uh, oh, goes like this. Uh, goes in here. Uh, okay, because that gives me. I'm I'm able to bring the piece close I'll have support that's the reason why I'm using it I'll show you in a minute then because my blade is not quite in the middle if you notice then I will do is I'll bring I'll bring this up top plate Oh, about half an inch and if you notice uh, right there the blade will it's almost in the middle of that I could go up a little bit more right there lock this up lock it up on a 90 degree and now let's see we have the two pieces and we have the biscuit somewhere I use a little one. The big one will not fit without those biscuits. Anyway. I think the next one is uh, this one will be too big. Anyway. I'm going to put this little one in. That's the blade I have. So, what I'll do is I'll make sure that this end here rests against my top guard here, my top plate. So, we'll go uh, this one first. Go in here like this. Down to zero, and we'll plunge it in. So this gets turned around like that. We'll leave it here for a minute. And then this hole, this one here, this side has got to be on the top, like this. You see, we can do it this way. You guys can see. Uh, I wish I had another piece because uh, because this already has a hole. Uh, is my finger gonna be fine? It be. There you go. So this is the piece that goes like this. This is the piece that goes like this. I was to put the biscuit in there and there you go like I said you got forgiveness this way that's what's nice about these biscuits but this way you don't have as much of course uh, but you put some glue in there you got that biscuit in there and you'll have a nice strong corner that's one other way of using the biscuit if you ever needed to do that uh, something like the one putting the uh, 
the frame on on the front to work something the same way kind of but anyway uh, that's kind of a few cuts in use of this uh, model 557 plate joiner by uh, Porter Cable I had this for course when it first came out I thought they were great and used it a lot uh, for picture framing like I mentioned and with that we'll catalog this guy on the files of YouTube and thanks for watching